Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see here on our channel, our website, or our social media. Reach out to me directly, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Today, we're discussing possibly the most technically significant watch of 2019 based on the 2017 DeFi Lab. This is the Zenith DeFi Inventor. 44 millimeters in a combination of titanium grade five with an Aeronith bezel. The timepiece is a quantum leap in mechanical watchmaking accuracy, as well as a fundamental rethinking of the Swiss lever oscillator. Let's talk about the size of the watch. First, it's titanium, so it's very light. On my wrist, 16 centimeters in circumference, you can see it wears easily. 14.5 millimeters thick. It's just, and I mean fractionally, under 50 millimeters from lug to lug. So being titanium, with rather short and stubby lugs, a sub 50 millimeter lug to lug measurement, I can recommend this watch for a 14 centimeter circumference wrist. Let's take a quick look at the profile. It wouldn't fit underneath the tightest of dress sleeves, but a jacket should be fine. Now the hardware and the software. This is a embossed leather segment on top of a natural vulcanized rubber base. So a little bit like Hublot, it's a bimaterial strap. Blue on the top, it is an embossed leather even though it looks like a woven textile. There's a contrasting black stitch. You can see there are gussets to prevent you from gouging using the pin of the clasp. On the underside, of course, the strap is rubber and the clasp is a smart piece. Well, pop this open so we can take a closer look, but you can see how the strap tucks underneath the clasp body, so there's no need for minder loops on the exterior of the strap. You've got the Zenith star internally. It's a very clean look with extra length tucked underneath the strap itself. It is a twin trigger release, and you can see it's made of grade 5 titanium, just like the case, so fairly light and very scratch resistant. Twin trigger release so it can't pop open accidentally. The strap itself is a custom piece, so whereas you could put a conventional strap in this watch, you'll note that because of the shape of the lugs, which step outward a bit, it wouldn't look right, so I recommend sticking with a factory strap or going very custom here. Now, the grade 5 titanium is great because grade 5 titanium is a lighter than steel and also more scratch resistant than standard 316. So it'll take a nice polish and hold it. The fastening is handsome and the DeFi case harks back to the 1970s when this case was first used on DeFi branded Zenith watches. There is a lovely knurled satin finished and polished matching crown with a rubber shoulder. And then we get to the Aeronith bezel, which is the material from which the original DeFi lab was made. It's a sort of aluminum foam, an incredibly light material with very, very low density. It creates a fascinating appearance as it's almost like a metallic foam or sponge and then it contributes to the overall lightness of the watch. It also, from what I'm told, does a great job of hiding scratches and scuffs apropos for a piece that is the highest point and most likely point of contact on the watch. Now the dial is extraordinary. This is a rare case where I prefer Zenith's use of an Hublot style open dial. As you can see outboard it's conventional. There's a Rayhor in blue uh, chapter ring that acts as your reference for the hours, minutes, seconds, and fractions of seconds. And then you've got cantilevered rhodium plated steel applique indices. There will be a loom shot. Then over the center dial we have a metallic satin finished element that echoes the shape of the Zenith oscillator itself. The oscillator in silicon can be seen underneath. This is the caliber 9001 automatic winding, 50 hour power reserve. You will note that it has a stop seconds function. The ha seconds hand stops immediately, but it takes a moment for the oscillator to stop vibrating. So how does this movement work? Well, you've got this mono block that is simultaneously the oscillating, or yes, the oscillating mass, basically the balance, and the indexing surface and the hairspring all in one. So it's the balance with the rim mass, it's the Swiss lever, and it's the hairspring all in one part that replaces 30 individual components in the watch. Which is to say, this is definitely wave of the future stuff, but it's also bringing in technologies previously only seen in the microchip industry. That silicon component naturally is anti-magnetic. So bypassing the Swiss lever and the hairspring with one silicon component makes this an anti-magnetic watch. It doesn't have the audible sound of an Accutron, for example. I'd hoped it did, but it really doesn't have any sound to it. It's beating away at 129,600 vibrations per hour, which is 18 hertz or 36 beats per second, compared to the original DeFi Lab, which beat away at, I think, 108,000 or 15 hertz. So this is a high-frequency oscillator in the strictest sense. Remember, Zenith L 
hour beats weight, 36,000 vibrations per hour. This is almost 130,000. Turn it all over, you can see the rotor, which is a very efficient unidirectional winder. It still pivots on steel bearings. And then you have a nickel anthracite coating over the movement itself. There's not a whole lot to see, but you can see that there's a sort of techno-industrial matte finish and then satination of the wheels underneath. The 20 joules seems kind of low, but when you realize how many pivoting parts that oscillator replates, you, you realize exactly why this is only a 20 joule movement. Now, let's get to the point, accuracy. This watch is tested to the ISO 3159 chronometer standard as a fully cased up watch by Time Lab. So it's a fully cased up finished watch test, unlike the bare movement test of the COSC. And this watch is said to run no worse than plus 0.3 or 0.5 seconds per day. That's right, one third of a second per day. We are really talking about a new world of mechanical horology. Email team also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details. And we're back with the Defi Inventor. Note the loomed name.